ancient creature remains at large, embedded deep within Scottish folklore. It's an animal big enough to bite a car in half. Sightings seem to defy scientific explanation. Did you see something on Loch Ness that you cannot explain? Yes. Leaving no stone unturned, the hunt is on. We're picking up some really big sonar contacts below us. This is military-grade equipment, and we're going to get it. Former private investigator turned monster hunter Steve Cowles has spent the last 12 years searching for evidence of the legendary Sasquatch He's come to Scotland to investigate the existence of the infamous Loch Ness Monster and resolve one of the world's greatest enigmas. The Loch Ness Monster is like the biggest mystery in the world. I mean, there isn't a person on the planet that probably hasn't heard about it. I think that's because it's so specific to one particular body of water. It can be pinpointed on a map. It's got to be more than myth. It's got to be reality. Hundreds of thousands descend on Loch Ness annually, hoping to catch a glimpse of the mythical creature. New theories evolve to explain the legend of the Loch Ness Monster. Some believers speculate that the elusive creature is a plesiosaur, a prehistoric aquatic reptile spanning up to 20 meters in length, thought to have become extinct 65 million years ago. There is always the possibility that something might have survived in some undiscovered pocket of the world. Others believe the loch may be hiding a new biological secret. The Loch Ness Monster is a creature that has so far been undiscovered. It's something navigating here from the sea. For 500 years, these people have been seeing something that doesn't belong here. Brought to the world's attention in the 1930s, there have been over 10,000 reported sightings of the Loch Ness Monster and numerous search attempts, all to no avail. Yet people still continue to see a monster. Like a black anaconda, that's what it looked like. It came out of the water like that, and then it went down, and there was a boil of white foam. Steve Cowles has assembled a team of highly trained divers, the latest underwater technology, and marine experts, all to seek new evidence and solve this enduring mystery. Loch Ness is roughly 36 kilometers long and one and a half kilometers wide. It sinks to a staggering depth of 240 meters, making it deeper than the North Sea. The team are faced with a daunting task. Local boat captain George Edwards suggests the team starts at the stretch of water with the highest occurrence of sightings and where sonar images suggest the existence of caves, enabling a creature to move between the lock and the open sea. Guys, we are at the base of the Urquhart Castle, the epicenter of this mystery for centuries. This is an opportunity to get into the water and to find some of the answers to the questions that have been asked. And some of the things we need to look for, aside from the creature itself, would be areas where the creature can hide, caves, food sources, anything out of the ordinary. Previous expeditions have been hampered by the water conditions. The high peat content means there's almost zero visibility. The team are using the latest Ditson sonar imaging camera. This will enable them to see in the dark without the use of bright lights that may scare away a monster. The difference between the Ditson and the older types of sonar is like comparing a horse and buggy to a Formula One car. 
Uh, this is military grade equipment and stuff you just can't go in and buy off the shelf. If the Loch Ness Monster comes within range of this equipment, we're going to get it. Ready? Yeah, when you clear, you're good to go. Within seconds, visibility is reduced to nothing and the divers switch to sonar vision. They move through the debris that lie strewn across the lock. While Steve Cowles waits in anticipation. Many in the scientific community have dismissed eyewitness reports as unreliable, citing wildlife hoaxes and optical illusions for misidentification. The numbers of sightings that's been here on the lock over 600 years, even if you take 99% of them and put them in the trash can, you turn around and you still have that 1% that can't be explained. Well, we need to explain it. Local resident Val Moffat lives just above the dive team's current location and has seen the creature on two occasions. The first time I saw it was in September 1990. I was driving up and I saw it in the bay between the castle and the far headland. I glanced and thought, what on earth is that? It was just like an, a rowing boat which had overturned in the water, same shape. It was very dark grey, shiny with the water on it. It was about 25 to 30 feet in length and 8 to 10 feet to the top of the back of the body. I glanced at it three, maybe four times and the final time it was gone. The nearest I can describe it really is pictures I've seen of plesiosaurs. Similar colour, similar texture, um, just grey, shiny with the water, and the same sort of size really. Many times people have said to me, oh you must have seen something, it was an illusion. And I just say, no, I know I've seen something which can't be explained. As far as all the scientists go who say there's nothing out there, I just say, Wait until you see it. Once you've seen it, you'll believe there's something there. Definitely. After a day of searching the lock, the divers surface with the Didson sonar camera. Got it. evidence we're looking for is food supply such as fish, we're looking for possible skeletons on the, on the floor, we're looking for hiding spots, large boulders, caves. After detailed examination of the images, nothing conclusive is revealed. But this does little to deter Steve. I believe the Loch Ness Monster has been so elusive because the depth of this lock, this is 832 feet deep. It's huge. You could fit scores of creatures in here. The fact that the water is very murky due to the peat content, it's, it's very much in the side of the Loch Ness Monsters. Do you think the Loch Ness Monster could hide out in this water? Easily. If you can't see that far in front of you, and it's really deep down there, so there's loads of hiding places out there. 